as an observer in the ninth voting precinct. I asked another girl to replace me. They didn't let us inside anyway because of coronavirus, they said. No observers allowed. Anybody else sure, but not observers. So we just counted the voters, how many went in. We saw 30 people go in there, but they say there were 126. That's just stupid, a mistake. How can you fake things like that? I worry about the young teachers. What is in their heads? They fall for all the Western propaganda. How do we count the votes? I always tell them whatever the country needs. That's what you do. These stories are fierce. I can't stand them anymore about the Soviet Union. I never even lived a day there, and I'm only 16. There was nothing interesting about it. There wasn't any internet, no smartphones, no tablets. There weren't even any good movies back then. They did nothing but milk house and binge drink milk. Hello, I'm Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, candidate for president. I am 37 years old. I was never attracted to the idea of making a career. I always saw myself primarily as a wife and a mother, a homemaker. That's what I do best. I was never interested in politics. I was perfectly happy with that. A year ago, my husband, Sergei Tikhanovsky, created a project he called A Country for Life in conjunction with which he met all kinds of people of all professions. They would tell him what worried them, what they were feeling, what they thought about Belarus. What amazed me most of all was that people who appeared on our blog channel were being thrown into prison. What is that all about? Can we possibly make peace with such injustice? That is why, when my husband Sergei was not permitted to participate in the election, I chose to replace him and march all the way to victory. They say a woman can't be president. That's not true. Nobody can stop a woman who is defending her family, just as no one can stop a nation that demands justice. I know my pile must have 206 ballots, so I build it up to 206. Now. Kristalina is supposed to have 1361, which will be President Lukashenko's pile. Memorize the numbers for each candidate and put that precise number in your pile. Everything left over is declared void and null. Defective, and that's that. Masha, Masha, just don't worry. I have great news. She won. I counted the bracelets. 1412 beautiful, marvelous white bracelets. And we only have a few more than 2,000 people in our precinct. Do you realize what that means? Masha, she won. In a landslide, we will have a new Belarus and a woman president. I'm so excited. My nails are broken. White. Red. White. My fingers too. Maybe. Can't move it. It hurts. Everything hurts. And that Natalie might now. The taste of metal. Strange. I'm sitting here. There is a lot of holes in here. In this prison bag. The only thing I can think about is how not to wrinkle my dress. It's an expensive dress. Then the door of the prison van opens and something plops on the floor. Just drops, like a chunk of meat. And I feel something warm spurred on my knee. My dress too. My white dress that I bought for Masha's wedding. Now there's a sweat of black on it. Then a grenade explodes, and I see it's not black, it's red, and a piece of meat is a person. So, Mrs. Tikhanovskaya, have a seat. We are going to give you a piece of paper with a statement. You are going to read this statement in front of a camera and publish it as if it were yours. In this statement, 
you are going to concede that you have lost the elections. After all of this is done, we are going to deport you to Lithuania. Our president even scared off coronavirus. Everybody's sick, but not Belarusians. Three of our high school teachers died in May and June, none from coronavirus though. Each had ischemic heart disease, although they buried them in closed caskets. I've never heard such haunting. High squeals almost passing into ultrasound. The girls were constantly threatened with rape. They wouldn't let you go to the toilet. Uh, many peed where they were, and a pool of blood and urine grew on the floor. It smelled really bad. But there was a child's drawing of the sun on the wall, and somebody had written Vaisya loves Olga. And they uh, drew a heart. Vaisya loves Olga. There is love even in all this horror. Because battles like this happen once in 100 years, and in the battles between good and evil, in the sense that everything is totally clear, I understood immediately that my life was over, and I understood instantly that they would cover up my murder. They'd cremate me in a crematorium, list me as missing, or bury me in a forest, or hang me as if I committed suicide. Welcome home, it won't help. The Russians are a unique people. They'll put up with stuff forever, for decades, sometimes a whole life, and then snap. Their patience pops. Belarusians have been insulted, and you can defeat that kind of insult. Hello, my name is, my name is Svetlana. Svetlana. I'm a housewife. I'm a housewife. The mother Earth of two children. children. Two children. I'm the president elect, elect of Belarus. Of Belarus. What are you willing, willing to do for love? What are you willing to do for love? What are you willing to do for love? What are you willing to do for love?